I'm back. So today, yesterday we talked about the blade legs and stuff like that. Today I'm going to talk about clip combs, snap on combs, attachments, stuff like that. Um, I have a couple of different types that I've had throughout the years. Um, yeah, there are a couple, and there's one Andis brand and two of the Oster brands for these. These are the ones I started out with years ago, years and years and years ago. This is a one and a quarter. I don't know. It's hard to see plus backwards, sorry. Um, this one is a one and a quarter length. And the clip, the attachment combs are designed to go over top of the shorter um, blades, over top of your clipper blades. Um, these ones are designed to, um, you set your blade down here and it's spring loaded. So then it stretches over the edge of the teeth. So when I do that, I'm going to push down on the blade and of course it's easier when they're on clippers, but you can kind of see how it's attached onto the blade and then this just acts as a guide to kind of um, leave the hair longer. And this one will do about, like I said, about an inch, inch and a half, uh, just depending on which direction you're going with the coat. I don't use these anymore. Oh my gosh, I haven't, like I found these in my grooming uh, stuff the other day. But um, you would use them like your blades, but where you would use the longer it's longer than like this blade. So, um, so there's that. And then the next one, they had different sizes. It just was like an inch and a quarter, one inch. Uh, so this one is a one inch attachment. And then this one is a half inch attachment. And you can see they're a little bit different. And this one is three quarters, or one inch. This one's the one inch. I guess I have a couple one inch. I do. Anyway, I don't use those anymore. They're old. Uh, they still work, but they're they're quite old. Um, so my next set were the Andis ones, and they are uh, stainless. They're coated. Um, they're plastic, and they're coated. Um, and they were designed, it's got a little magnet right here to, um, it's under the same kind of blade, they sit on top and then they just magnetize in place. These ones were okay, but I found that if I hit a snag or, or whatever, a, a tangle or something, they popped off really easy. So, um, well, I like them. I like the way they cut, um... I just quit using them because I did get the Oster ones. And these were the ones I was telling you about. Oh, you can't get them individually. They come in a kit um, like this um, with your, this one's the one I used on the top knots last week. Um, all the way down to this one. And this one's like an eighth of an inch or something. Oh, 16th. So it's 1.6 millimeters. I don't use this one very much. Um, because this one is about the same, really close to like your 5F and stuff like that. So I don't use this one. My blue one's my favorite, um, that I like to use on bodies because it leaves it short, but plush enough. Um, and that would be really close to like the 3F, um, blade. Um, this one is the one half inch. Um, and I like to use this one a little closer to the five eighths and the three quarters. So, um, and then they just kind of go on from there. This one's a five eighths blade. This one's three quarters of an inch. This one's seven eighths. It's green. This one's my one inch. These are the ones I kind of still like to use on the legs. So if I do a shorter body, say like a blue on the body, and then I'll use these on the legs, just to make them look a little fuller. 
uh, so they don't look like they're walking on toothpicks. So I'll go into that with one of the other trims. Um, oh, I'll have to see what's on my schedule. Um, I got the purple one. This one's um, another one of my favorite legs. This is the same length that I used on Rocco's legs. Um, the other day is the one and a quarter inch. And then this is the one and a half inch and I'll use these on legs as well. Sometimes I use these on bracelets. Um, and every now and then if they want a shorter top knot, I go to this one instead of this one. So, um, and then of course I showed you my big Mac Daddy of the two, the uh, two inch ones. So those are my clipper attachments. Um, I love them all. These uh, actually work. So um, they work kind of the same way as the black ones that I kind of showed you. They have this little spring loaded thing here. These ones are actually metal. Um, so you have less of a chance of breaking, um, breaking them. Not to say that I haven't broke these. Um, I've had to buy a whole nother set cause I broke two of my favorite ones. Um, but sometimes they, a couple of them kind of dropped my clippers, um, which is a huge no, no. Um, and I broke one of the teeth off. So, um, pitch those. I still have them just in case I need extras, but, um, kind of the same thing. This is a 10 blade, 10, 15, 30s are the only ones that can go underneath a metal clip comb. If you use a 40 blade underneath a clip comb, you're going to cut the teeth of your 40 blade. Um, so I think they were designed for more for a 10 blade, um, but they do work equally underneath those. So uh, what I do with those is I hook that little, little hook at the bottom of the clippers, it's kind of hard and then I pop it over the top. And then to get it off, I pull this way, pull up and lift off. And the only way these come off is if the blade is on your clippers. So, um, again, we will pro probably go over lengths. My, uh, one of the things I want to do, is kind of make it easy for everybody is, um, when I have time, I want to get one of my my clients, and I'm going to start off with a nice clean coat. I'm going to give them a bath and bathe them and dry them and get them all ready. And then I'm going to start off with this blade. I'll work my way down to this blade, and I'm going to take a ruler and um, show you kind of the length that it cuts, and then this will give you an idea of what length you prefer to do on your own dog. So, hope this helps. I, you know, I hope you're learning something. Um, this is kind of a, teaching is kind of a passion of mine. So, um, let me know if there's anything I can um, explain better. Um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to drop me a note. Um, I try to be as responsive as I can. Um, and, uh, you know, maybe next, uh, within a week or two, we'll be able to, I'll try to do a live feed while I'm actually doing a whole, um, dog. It might be a couple hours of clippering, but, um, I do have a couple videos that I did, um, last week of, kind of like shampoos, um, bathing dogs, drying dogs, stuff like that. So I might post those soon. Um, I kind of wanted, cause I get more questions about the clipper blades and stuff like that. Uh, so I wanted to, um, you know, at least touch base on, um, this topic. So hope you have, guys have a great afternoon. Thanks.